Have you ever wondered what warfare will look like in the next decade? Imagine autonomous tanks making tactical decisions in milliseconds, soldiers wearing armor that can stop hypersonic projectiles, and drones that can coordinate complex attacks without human input. This isn't science fiction, it's already happening. Today, I'm going to take you on a journey into the battlefield of tomorrow, where technology is redefining what's possible in modern warfare. In this video, I'll break down the four major technological revolutions transforming military vehicles and combat operations right now. We'll explore autonomous systems that are already being deployed, next generation armor technologies being tested in labs, and integrated battlefield systems that are changing how wars are fought. The battlefield has transformed dramatically in just the past decade. Consider this. In 2010, the U.S. military had fewer than 50 operational drones. Today, they operate more than 11,000 unmanned aerial systems. That's a 22,000% increase in just over a decade. Recent conflicts in Ukraine, Syria, and Nagorno-Karabakh have demonstrated how rapidly warfare is evolving. The 2020 Azerbaijan-Armenia conflict has been called the first drone war where Azerbaijan's use of Turkish Bayraktar TB2 drones devastated Armenian forces, destroying over 200 tanks and armored vehicles in just six weeks. These trends are driving unprecedented innovation in military vehicle design. The global market for military unmanned vehicles alone is projected to reach $26.6 billion by 2025, up from $12.1 billion in 2020 Let's examine the four key areas revolutionizing tomorrow's battlefield. Autonomous warfare machines on the front line. Autonomous systems are no longer experimental. They're operational. The Russian Uran-9 combat robot, equipped with a 30 mm 2A72 automatic cannon and four 91121 Ataka anti-tank guided missiles, has already seen combat deployment in Syria. Though its performance revealed limitations, it demonstrated the growing role of autonomous systems in combat. The U.S. Army's robotic combat vehicle program is developing three variants. The RCV Light, a 10-ton class vehicle armed with anti-tank missiles and machine guns. The RCV Medium, a 15-ton vehicle that can be equipped with 30 millimeter cannons and the RCV Heavy, a 20 to 30 ton vehicle designed to engage enemy tanks. These platforms can operate in three modes. Remote controlled, operated by soldiers from a safe distance. Semi-autonomous, following waypoints while humans make combat decisions. And fully autonomous, making movement and engagement decisions within programmed parameters. The advantages are clear. A 2021 RAND Corporation study found that autonomous systems can reduce friendly casualties by up to 50% in simulated urban combat scenarios. They can also operate in environments contaminated by chemical, biological, or radiological threats where human soldiers couldn't survive. However, this shift raises profound ethical questions. Enhanced protection, armor of the future, Traditional steel armor is becoming obsolete against modern threats. Next generation protection systems fall into three categories. Israel's Trophy Active Protection System, now installed on US M1 Abrams tanks, uses radar to detect incoming projectiles and launches countermeasures to intercept them before impact. In its combat debut during the 2014 Gaza conflict, Trophy-equipped Merkava Afur tanks reported a 100% success rate against anti-tank missiles. The British DSTL is developing electric armor that creates a powerful electromagnetic field when a threat is detected, capable of disrupting the electronics in guided munitions or even vaporizing incoming projectiles. DARPA's engineered living materials program is exploring biologically inspired materials that can self-heal when damaged. Meanwhile, researchers at MIT have developed a carbon nanotube composite that's 10 times stronger than steel at just one-sixth the weight. 
the most promising development might be liquid armor. Fabric impregnated with a non-Newtonian fluid instantly hardens upon impact. Tests at the U.S. Army Research Laboratory show it can stop 9mm bullets while remaining flexible enough for soldiers to move normally. Beyond the basics, integration of new capabilities. Modern military vehicles are becoming rolling data centers. The U.S. Army's integrated visual augmentation system connects individual soldiers to vehicles and command centers through augmented reality headsets, providing real-time positioning of friendly and enemy forces, weapon targeting data linked directly to vehicle systems, thermal and night vision capabilities, and AI-assisted threat identification. This network-centric approach extends to vehicle design. The British Army's Boxer MIV features a modular design with mission-specific pods that can be swapped in under an hour, transforming from a troop carrier to a command post or medical evacuation vehicle. Data integration is revolutionizing maintenance as well. The F-35 fighter jet's autonomic logistics information system uses over 900 sensors to predict maintenance needs before failures occur. Similar systems are being adapted for ground vehicles with the potential to reduce maintenance costs by up to 30%, according to a 2022 McKinsey analysis. Perhaps most impressive is the development of manned-unmanned teaming. The U.S. Army's Project Convergence demonstrated a system where Apache helicopters controlled drone swarms to identify and engage targets beyond visual range. Similar capabilities are being developed for ground vehicles, where a single manned command vehicle could control multiple unmanned platforms. Preparing for the next generation. Looking ahead, the convergence of these technologies is creating entirely new combat paradigms. By 2030, experts predict we'll see swarm tactics becoming standard, with hundreds of low-cost autonomous vehicles overwhelming enemy defenses through sheer numbers. The DARPA offset program has already demonstrated coordinated operations of over 250 drones in urban environments. Human-machine collaboration will reach new levels with AI systems suggesting courses of action that human commanders can approve or modify. The Pentagon's Project Maven is already using AI to analyze drone footage and identify potential threats. Directed energy weapons are becoming operational on mobile platforms. The U.S. Army's DEM Shorad system, mounted on a striker vehicle, successfully destroyed multiple drones in 2021 tests using a 50-kilowatt laser. Hypersonic capabilities are extending to ground vehicles. While primarily associated with missiles, hypersonic technology could enable ground vehicles to launch missiles at speeds exceeding Mach 5 potentially changing the dynamics of anti-armor warfare. The battlefield of tomorrow is taking shape today, driven by technological innovations that were science fiction just a decade ago. As autonomous systems become more capable, protection systems more sophisticated, and battlefield integration more seamless, military vehicles are evolving from platforms for weapons into networked combat systems. These changes raise important questions about the future of warfare, the role of humans in combat decisions, and the ethical implications of increasingly autonomous weapons. The nations that best adapt to these technological shifts will likely hold significant advantages in future conflicts. If you found this glimpse into the future battlefield fascinating, make sure to subscribe for more deep dives into military technology. Next week, I'll be examining how these same technologies are transforming naval warfare with autonomous ships and underwater drones. Thank you for watching, and remember, in the world of military technology, the future isn't coming, it's already here.